It's a snack. Oh my god. People's, it's a new box for the channel. People say, I'm going to eat her like a snack, but are you going to eat her like universalyums.com? <laughs> yes, you should. Um, I'm as, some guy named Nate, by the way. This is Insanity IBG, yeah. and this is... Uh, as some of you may know, you may have seen uh, some of the boxers out there do uh, Japan Crate, which is all Japan-style snacks. Mm -hmm. um, I believe there's even something called like a snack box, like just snack box. Um, however, I ran across this one just by happenstance accident I like the word happenstance. Um, through Instagram. Um, I'm sure that they yes. listened to the words that I say and then just um, did the advertising, you know, like how yeah. everybody's saying. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I saw it and I was like, you know what, they do a different country every single month. Nice. Uh, they have different size subscriptions, so there's a 6 snack box, a 12 snack box, and a 20 snack box. If you're a really hungry boy, <laughs> get the I 20. really wanted to get the 20 snack box. But I don't know, I, I'm a hungry boy. I, I really wanted to be like, oh, let's try it out for a few months first before I decide we'll, to do the we'll 20 see snacks. The, we'll see how the traffic works, guys. So if you want to drop a like and tell Vince you like us eating food on camera, yeah. then let us know because we're going to eat some delicious food today. So yeah, um, I went ahead and just went with the 12 snack because I didn't think six was, six was enough. No, six would be like a two minute video. We'd be like, tasty. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and just, just try these snacks. I wonder what country we got. Uh, uh, the last box India. that I saw, yeah. the last box that I saw, um, that they advertised, you know, here's our past boxes, here was, what was it, April? France. They did Spain. Spain? Okay, that would have been cool. So... <laughs> and then France, you just get a box of snails. I'm kidding. What's your guess? India. India. Alright, I am going to guess Russia. Okay. Russian I've never had Russian yeah, food would be before. Cool. Yes. And I always okay. say that because okay. my wife is kind of Russian. Come on. So. Come on, India. I'm just guessing. Ooh. The Philippines. The Philippines we got. Philippines. Interesting. Oh, we got a flag. It's a little flag. That's hardcore. And it gives Ooh, you the snacks this? on the back so you That's can rate cool. them. That's cool. Oh, my God. We Best got rid of Runner up. Worst yum. Most unusual. It's got some awards there on the back. Sweet. That's hardcore. And you get a Philippines flag. Yeah. That's, that's actually kind of cool. I like that. That is really cool. It teaches you a little bit of their language. This famous Filipino was recognized by Oprah. Okay, I don't so know. Yes. Yeah. A little trivia. A little bit of fun triv, a whole bunch of snacks. And then this is the spoiler magazine, I'm assuming, because I opened it up and yeah. I see snacks in there. So Spoiler um, mag. We'll go ahead and pull them out if we want to read wow. about them. That or is maybe I'll post a picture that, that you can pause snacks. Yes. and read yourself, because I don't know if we're going to do that. Okay, look at all those snacks. Oh, wow. It's bulging over with snacks. Well, let's go ahead and just take this one right off the top. <laughs> this is boy, boing, boy, boing, boing. corn. <laughs> so that Dude, is boing. It sounds like a sound that like a, a guitar makes. There's <laughs> boing. It is barbecue flavored. Ooh. So and there's a happy onion okay, on the front. So this looks like corn nuts. Is what it looks like to me. Okay. Uh, you don't have any allergies, do you? No, I don't. Okay, good. I'm not allergic to anything except people who click the thumb down button. You should always click the thumbs up button. It's my only medication. All right, go ahead and grab right. yourself some. All Try right. them. Ready? Oh. Yeah. It's corn nuts. It's similar to corn nuts. Corn nuts here are more dense or more hard. These are a more lot like a, like a little puff. Yeah. The barbecue isn't really shining through for no, me. No, it's like a light barbecue on the back. Try boy boing baked corn and nick. A tasty, tasty snack that is baked and not fried. Crunch your way to satisfaction without ruining your diet. Eat the whole fucking bag. Go ham. I'm gonna get some more. Um, I don't know. I, I like the texture. I like the consistency. Mm -hmm. I, I like that it's corn nut style, but the flavor is not potent enough for me to really want to buy this often, I'm going to go ahead and give this a 6 out of 10. I'd say 6.5 out of 10 just because I love corn nuts, and the thing I hated about corn nuts was they were too crunchy and obnoxious, and these are a lot more poofy, as you said. Yeah. They're a lot a lot tastier, so I'm definitely going to get a couple more before we go. Oh. All right. Cool. Um, Do we right. a palate cleanser? Or? No, unless you want to go grab water. Okay. Ah. Professionalism. <laughs> <laughs> He's running off camera. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab the next bag right out of the box. It looks like the biggest bag in the box. Uh, this is uh, potato fries baked, not fried, by Oshi. And it is tomato ketchup flavor. 
I couldn't find any water. So I'm blind. That was the tomato ketchup mochi. Yeah, tomato ketchup potato fries. So they're potato oh, nice. fried chips. Nice. Cool. I wish that the Toe Clan at home could try some of these. Yeah, if you want, if, if you want to try them along with us, then, uh, then order yourself a box. Yes. Let's try some. Okay. They're fry-tastic. Okay. I want to see this. Potato fries. So they're, they're really puffy like air snacks. Cheers. Cheers. And they're ketchup flavored. Yeah. They taste lightly of ketchup. They mostly taste of starch. Like, I can taste the starchiness mm -hmm. of the potato. So if you don't like the density of uh, an actual French fry, uh, French fry, like it, these are or these are like cheese puffs, but they're tato uh, puffs, tato puffs, and they're ketchup flavored, so you don't have to dip them. Which it's again a little light in the flavor, but in this I don't mind it. Like I actually like the lightness of it. Like I actually it's, really, it's real, one really tasty, two. It's got a really crazy shelf life. It's good until March 12th, 2019. So you can save these for a while, have a few, bag them up, have a few. Want another? No, I'm going to move on to the next snack, but I would eat these. I'm going to give these an 8 out of 10. I like them. You know what? 7 out of 10. Those are really good. The ketchup isn't too harsh. You just get that starchy taste of the potato, and it works really well. I'm talking with my mouth full. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, next one out of the box is Cheesy Corn Crunch. Man, they like their corn. <laughs> uh, it says outrageously spicy and Ooh. cheesy. I like both of those. <laughs> Cheddar jalapeno. It looks, kind of looks like uh, uh, Cheetos. Yeah, let me see. Oh, you dropped the bag on that one. Yeah, it does. It, does, it really looks like Cheetos. So Look at how professional you are. You're just ripping just the corner off. We're putting them right here for later consumption. Uh, I'm going to grab two Cheetos. Yeah, this okay. looks exactly like Cheetos. Wow, like two uh, tea. Ah, cheddar jalapeno. Okay. Oh. Now flavor is phenomenal. That is really good. Yes. This little yeah. guy, nine out of ten. Put it yeah, on the screen. Nine already. out of ten. That's really good. Really good. Dude, Philippines, you know your snacks. Yeah, you're, you're doing pretty good. Mm. All right, so these are. <laughs> Chili cheese flavored corn snack, again with the corn. Oh, yes. Uh, clover chips. Oh, I thought it said lover chips. I was like, yeah, <laughs> I, like, yeah I love them too, yeah. Share them with your love. Share them with your love. Thanks, man. YouTube love. Also, I love you, YouTube. All right. Uh, give me more money. I don't know. <laughs> they don't give me money. Okay, so these are kind of a weird consistency. That is quite weird. Oh, I they're, get what they're doing. It's almost like it's like popped. Their logo is like four of them placed side by side, if you can take a picture of it. You kind of ripped into this one. Most yeah. of these snacks are an orange tint. Chili cheese, it's almost like chili cheese Fritos flavor, but what? in a very light, puffy, air consistency type chip. I wonder how they make these. Do they like fart them through a mold? Do they like bend up naturally when they're being baked? They're tasty. I don't know. For these ones, I actually don't like the consistency of them. I like the flavor, but the consistency for me on these doesn't work like it does with the other ones. Six and a half out of ten, because the flavor is good, and I agree with him. Six out of ten. It's kind of it kind of melts, and it kind of gets like a weird funk, but mm -hmm. it's it's still good. Like I am picky. Well, I'm not picky. I'll eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> Give him bright pop rocks. I'll eat anything. <laughs> I like the name of this. Um, so this is a cupcake. <laughs> but the way they spell it is cupcake. Cupcake. <laughs> hey, have you ever seen a cupcake? <laughs> oh, that's um, hilarious. This one is looks like a chocolate cupcake, and it's an individual cupcake. Oh so man! We'll just have to. Uh, we'll have to halfsies it or chunk it. You want to chunk it or you want to halfsies it? I don't want to eat too much food. We'll chunk it. Yeah, I'm gonna just chunk it. All right, cool. I'll chunk a chunk. If you want to pass me a chunk, or you can just chunk. If, here, just go ahead and take okay. that because okay. I'm breaking it ah. all up. Okay, hold up. It did say it was choco flavor. I didn't see what the rest of that flavor yeah. said. Actually, All right, cool. Let's go ahead. Cheers. Wow. Is it me or do I taste coffee? You taste coffee because yeah. I I hate coffee. Yeah, you this do. is this is very coffee. This is very hitting me the wrong way. So, just for the coffee, you're gonna give it a low score. I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm gonna you're have coffee, to. Boy. I really like the texture, so I'm going to give it more points because it has a great texture. Yeah. I didn't expect a packaged cupcake to have a, be that soft. 
Yeah. It's tasty, though. I don't know why I keep doing this. It's like, <laughs> come <laughs> on. You're thinking it through. You're like, right, hurry up at you. Hurry up at you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I do like how it tastes like a mocha, because I, I for one, like coffee. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a seven for the cup and gate. And I'm going for the four. Just because you four. just don't like the coffee. The coffee tear, tears it down for mm -hmm. me. We clean up. Okay. All right, next item out of the box is pillows, ubi-filled crackers. Have you had ube before? I have not. Ooh. What is, do you know what ube is? It is, I, okay, it's a dessert that kind of looks like a big Swiss roll, but it's purple. I've never had it before, but a lot of my friends say it's an acquired taste, so now I'm scared. Ooh. Okay. Look at that. They're going to, oh, they're purple. It almost looks like, a, the, the, the picture on here says, like, it's liquid inside of a cracker. Look at how purple that is. That everybody. is a very purple cracker. It's extremely, oh. It's like a cream-filled cookie. It's like they use the yeah. ube filling. Because it does look like a big Swiss roll. A purple Swiss roll. That's really, really good. It's I like really a, like those. It's like a really sweet breakfast cereal is like, what it tastes like. Yeah. It's very... It's got like... like almost like a gusher feel. So you got a cracker... Um, yeah, I got cookie, cracker cookie thing. Cookie, cracker on the outside. Right like into it. Icing. Uh, yeah, like an icing. That's exactly what yeah. I was looking for. Yeah. Oh. And it's very, it's got a vanilla more. texture, but it's also got another hint of something there that I'm just, Let's I'm see. not placing. Uh, sugar, milk powder, wheat, palm oil, non-dairy creamer. Yeah, I don't know. This is weird, just playing okay. I love those. Nine and a half out of ten. Ten. Really? Holy I don't crap. love them. Oh. oh. I got three, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I, I can, I would, that, if, we'll just wait till the <laughs> end and I'll give you, I'll probably nominate <laughs> my favorite one. Um, so here, go ahead and take your own oh, white okay. one. There's a one white one and one purple one. Okay. Cool. These are uh, Goldilocks uh, Penny Pig Polvoron Vanilla Shortbread. Nice. And are they both vanilla shortbread? Ooh. Yeah, one's ube flavor and one's peanut peg flavor. So we'll try the peanut peg one first. Peanut peg. All right, hold up. This does seem like I feel like this is gonna be very dry. Okay. The way it looks. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah. Very dry. Oh my god. It's got kind of like a sprinkled mm. sugar on the outside. You need milk with this. It sticks to the roof of your mouth. Is it's it you? The light vanilla flavor. No, mm -hmm. I haven't had it stick to the, the roof of my mouth, but. Mm. Really tasty though. I'm just making a ton of eating. I'm, 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 so I'm just doing this. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go with a 7 out of 10 on this one. For the for this one, yeah, I'd say seven out of ten. You want to try the ube? Yeah, one moment. Okay. All right, that was a real quick jump up there. I'm sorry. I took, I three, more bite. I took three more bites of this. Uh, I got a water. Need a water. This but now we're going to move on to the Goldilocks ube. And we had one. some ube cookies, so, so good high hopes for this one. And while we were off camera, I did look. Um, ube is a potato. Really. It's a, a purple fleshed potato. It's very, it's sweeter. Okay. And I'm really just surprised. Like you wouldn't think that. Hey, Blink. this is a potato snack. Yeah. Go. Same texture. Same sugary coating on the outside. Light ube taste compared to that one, which mostly tasted of cream. I think. Mm -hmm. I like how it like. When you get it wet, it turns to sand in your mouth. Yeah, that's what it is. Like, not like a coarse sand. Like the like, yeah, you're like, not doing like crunchy. Have you ever sand. had sand cookies before? Yeah, like yeah, that, like they're so good. That is delicious. Like I love the consistency. Ube gets an eight. The ube one is a little bit better than the other one, in my opinion. That I'm was going really with a nine. good. Really, two points higher than four. the vanilla. Oh my god, those are good. Okay. And we get a snack. You party. get oh an extreme. God. I get an extreme. extreme. This is a choco coated choco biscuit with choco, choco filling. filling. It's chocolate to the max. It's everybody. extreme. Extreme in so, a world when you get choco biscuits. Ultimate choco. I feel weird opening these. You oh, know, wow. that broke apart. I did. So. Okay. Ah, mine. Mine. I salvaged. Mine. I. Wow. Okay. No, I lost a corner. It's okay. okay. We'll eat on this corner. Right. Boom. Really light. Wafer cookie consistency yeah. on the inside. It tastes like a hybrid of a Thin Mint and a wafer cookie. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, that is. Yeah. And honestly, for Choco Extreme, 
It's that's not extreme. very chocolatey. It's <laughs> not too extreme. Yeah, everything in it is chocolate, but like the chocolate flavor is just like, meh. I can I can taste chocolate. It's really subtle. It's like uh, it's like one of the, like a grandma's milk chocolate that she's just like, oh, this is too intense for me. Cut it down. <laughs> and you're just like, grandma, your flavor buds are too old. <laughs> Six and a half because I like wafer cookies and I love thin mints and that's like a baby. Yeah, I'm gonna go six and a half on this one. I'm, I agree with you, dude. Snack party. Last item out of the box. We got tons of snacks all over the table. I'm sorry. Um, I made a huge mess. Palate cleanser. Mm. So it looks like we got three kinds of candy here. I mean, they're all the same make. Yeah. But three different flavors. There's a white flavor. Okay. A green flavor. All right. And an orange flavor. Oh, these look like. These are hard candies. They're hard candies, so uh, I would suggest put them in your mouth. Yep. Roll them around for a little bit. So and then spit, got... it, spit it back out in the package so you can talk about it. Okay. Sweet corn flavored. Again, corn flavored. Like... Cheese flavored. Cheese flavored candy. Cheese flavored candy, everybody. So, you probably aren't gonna be able to see this. I'll take a closer picture. But the it's Mr. Myas. Yep. And then Mr. Buko. And then Mr. Kessos. They're each named different okay, things. Okay. Yeah, they are named different. Names. So we got Buko flavored is the green. Cheese is the yellow, and corn is the green. And if you look at the picture close enough, there is cream in the middle, so Seaweed. maybe you are going to be able to break these with your teeth. All right, which flavor? Which um, flavor are we hitting up? Buko cheese or... I am... Sorry. I don't know what buko means at all, so I am going to go with the buko first. Deal. Let's go. Palate cleanse. Yep, just all a right. real quick swish. All right. Okay. It's very green, like wasabi green. Oh. Got it? Alright, ready? Okay. Ready? Three, two. Okay, it's so it's like a hard it. taffy. Mm -hmm. Really hard taffy. Mm. Will it break your fake teeth? Stay tuned. Mm. Should I spit it back in the packaging though? That was really annoying. I'm gonna finish it. Okay. Okay, buco pandan flavored chewy candy with milk filling. Mm. So it's milk in the middle. Yeah. I, I just broke. Hard can chewing. you, can you yeah. tell what the buko like actually tastes like? Mm -hmm. To me, it's I found the milk filling. It's like condensed milk. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm so sorry. It's annoying. <laughs> okay, mm. I just swallowed mine. Okay, but uh, mm. I'm trying to look this up. Okay, so it's got kind of a nutty, a nutty flavor. That's Is kind of what I'm. I, I don't know. I, I wasn't able. To... Okay, after you chew a bit, it warms up in your mouth and becomes a completely different consistency. Okay, so creamy desserts, uh, bright, nutty, somewhat grassy flavor. And I do kind of get that. Mm -hmm. It just looks like I a like grass it. ball. That was good. White one, eight out of ten. Seven point five out of ten. Are we going with corn or cheese? Uh, I kind of want to save the cheese for last because that's the weirdest <laughs> one. Yeah. Like. Okay. And it looks like corn pop. Look at that, everybody. Look at that boy. Very, very... Ready? Mellow yellow. Wow. Same consistency. It tastes like, you know, canned corn. Yeah. No. Cream corn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Because it's got that... Does it have that milk consistency in the middle mm -hmm. as well? Yep, with a butter-flavored filling. It tastes exactly like... You pop a can of wow. cream corn. No, dude, yeah. And if you bite into it, it literally <laughs> tastes like someone poured butter on my mouth. That is so weird. I dude, Philippines, <laughs> Saturday, holy crap, that's so weird. My brain is freaking out. Is that you know, this is candy? Okay, you know, like when you drink carrot juice and your brain is like, bro, you should be chewing. <laughs> Have you ever had that? Yeah. It's like that sensation, so but it's for like, I should be... Eating corn right now. Okay, so I'm getting cream style corn from the can, mm -hmm. but as soon as you bite into the buttery texture, it's like you're it, eating a bag of popcorn. Yeah, that is a good way to put it. I was thinking that I was eating a stick of butter. <laughs> <laughs> Not like I'm really scared for the cheese. The one. cheese one. Okay, what comes out of the middle of this one? Creamy cheese candy with the cheese, cheese filling. filling. We got extra cheese up in this piece. Cheese on top of cheese. Queso con queso. <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish my corn. I'm gonna do a palate cleanser really quick. That's it's way that too butter. Corny. That butter is just Dude, it is. chilling there. Hold up. Hmm. Did we rate that one? I don't know. Future Vince, if you already edited it, 
eight out of ten because that blew my mind. A seven point five out of ten. I think yeah, I think we did rate that one. Okay, so. ready. Okay. Cheese, ready. Ding. Go. This one's a lot harder. Than the yeah, other. I actually had like almost a shell on it. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe that's because of age. Maybe these are a little older ones I can't get rid of. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of seeing why. I don't know if I like this one. That, that cheese center is almost like a a stale nacho cheese. Yeah. I don't it tastes know, like the skin on top of nacho cheese when it sits out too long. Mm-hmm. Mm. That, ow. That one... I'm sorry, but it's like cheese candy was a weird thing. Five and a half out of ten. Just give me a bag of the corn ones. Five out of ten. No. No, the cheese... Four the, out of ten. Yeah, the middle just kicked in. Oh. My god. No, I'm still gonna eat it. I like the coffee cupcake more than I like that one. Ugh. That is so weird. Alright, Nate. I'm eating it. Uh, give me your top three and your worst one. Okay, worst. The cheese. Okay. Okay. <laughs> top three. I gotta say, this freaking ube. The ube cookies. Best one. I'm assuming you're gonna say the same. Uh, second is going to be... Oh, I really liked the corn nuts and the fries. I'd say they're tied. Okay. And then third place, gotta go with the cookie. Really? No, no, no. With the ube, with this ube guy right here. All right, so I am going the uh, the shortbreads in number one. Mm. I'm gonna it's go ahead so cheesy. and tie those there. They're both pretty much the same thing. Shortbreads are phenomenal. The ube cracker with the uh, creamy filling was number two. That was so good. And the potato fries comes in at number three. I, um, I can't worst, stop chewing this cheese. Worst one though is obviously the cheese candy. Why would you make cheese candy? <laughs> Well, why would you make corn candy? And that was phenomenal. That was phenomenal. <laughs> so, so, you can't really blame them. Person like, who made this, promotion. Person who made this, execution. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, well, that is our very first Universal Yums from the Philippines. Ah, hold up. I'm making um, a mess. I'm so excited to continue this box, actually. I'm really hyped. I I'm really can't wait to see what comes in the um, June box. What country we would get. Because if it's anything like this, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this box. <laughs> I hope you guys do stick around and uh, join us on all the future uh, food adventures. Candy eating. Later, dudes! <laughs>